From the Fox Studios in downtown Panama City, it's News View with Lee Sullivan. They're going to raise your taxes, send them your money. You'll be okay. Man, this is just really stupid. <clears throat> Good evening. It's News View. I'm Lee Sullivan. We are visiting with Stephen George. He is a candidate for school superintendent, Bay District Schools. And in the series, we have an opportunity to visit with him. He has eight minutes. I will welcome you, Mr. George. Thank you for accepting the invitation. And as they say in the movies, the floor is yours. Well, thank you so much. And uh, Bay County, it's with a contrite heart I come to you today. And I want to let you know I'm not going to be a smart aleck, but I do want to let you know some things that have concerned me greatly over the past few years and concerning our children. And I'll start by telling you about a child at a workshop. In the fall, we were trying to get campuses closed and hearing some testimony concerning that. She stood up and here's what she said. She said, I can get uh, alcohol any day. She said they bring, them, bring it in water bottles to our campus. She says, I see drug deals going down and she says, I can buy drugs on my campus. And she said, I've also seen assault. And then she said, I've also seen assault and battery. Oh boy, I tell you, I, I looked at that and I looked at her and I thought a moment and I hearkened back to a survey that had just come across my desk a day or so before. Let me read to you what that survey said. A multi-agency survey commissioned by the Governor, DCF, Department of Health, and Project Safe Child for the year 2006 found one of six Bay County children surveyed middle to high school admitted being drunk or high at school. 48% of high school kids admitted to using alcohol, 29% to binge drinking, and 15% have committed assault and battery. The number one drug among our children is alcohol, the number two drug is marijuana or hashish, and the number three is prescription drugs. 1.3% of our students have brought a handgun to school and 5.9% or one of 20 surveyed carries a handgun on the streets. And this was commissioned by the Office of the Governor. It's called the Florida Youth Survey in its own line. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, a, a principal came forward a few days after that and he told us, he said, 33% of my juniors are out of class on any given day without excuse. They're failing English by the score. We've got children being smuggled off campuses in trunks of cars. We have people, uh, children leaving without excuse in other means. In Bay County today, our student population is 26,517 children. Last Tuesday before a board meeting, I ran an SB 210 report, which is my job to do, and absent without excuse on 422, as of Wednesday at noon that day, 1,748 children were absent. Out on open lunch, unsupervised and unmonitored with permission that day were 1,427, and that is a very conservative number. I've not figured in all the ones that just went anyway. Out supervised for senior free with adult permission again was 340 children unmonitored and unsupervised. And we'll figure in a roughly 300 for the odd one, but it's just skipping that we didn't call the roll on or get, get the record on that day for a total. I want you to listen to this carefully, Bay County. 3,815 <laughs> children unmonitored, unsupervised on our streets at some point, some given point during that day. This could fill up the home side of, of Tommy Oliver Stadium almost completely as it holds 4,000 on one side. Now we can add to that mix from February on spring breakers, thus the numbers of unmonitored children increase again. Now let's add a two-ton bomb called a car, along with time restraints, cell phones, friends in the back seat I want to talk to, increased traffic, and the highest teen vehicular traffic accident rate in the state. Dangerous streets, gang activity, and exposure to drugs, alcohol, and yes, firearms. Now let's add to that mix, we have senior high schools in this county who have not turned in a proper attendance referral nor reported a single truant child to the county office in years. This is mandated by our board approved attendance policy that is being ignored. This creates a most dangerous situation for children, for teachers, and the public. 
Steve Meadows, the state's attorney, came to our boardroom twice in the last few years and in an 06 warned this. He said, in the this is not the 1960s anymore. And he warned us of dangerous streets. He said due in large part to do, due to increasing gang activity. And he said this through us. He said the main fodder of gangs and bad people are unmonitored, unsupervised children with time on their hands. And this was echoed by law enforcement officers he had in tow that day. And it's been echoed by law enforcement officers that I deal with daily in doing my job. Yet school authorities by action and their vote literally have ignored the voices and the warnings and concern of even our top ranking lawmen. Ladies and gentlemen, may I submit to you, you're looking at a recipe for disaster. And if we don't go to the polls in November and put a stop to this irresponsible behavior from these adults, perhaps we should at least go home and apologize to our children. I'm paid to monitor this, and I'm on these streets part of every day. What I've shared with you is well researched and true. And there is no boast possible in that statement. It's public record. I'm a public servant. Bay County, I work for you. If you want this stopped, I'd suggest and hope that you'd vote for me. And if you don't, then continue to vote for them, and I'll certainly support your right to do so. Our children are in trouble. Just as the Glenwood community came together last fall because they were tired of all the juvenile violence, crime and truancy in their community, we all must also must take example from them and we must stand for our children. In my platform as superintendent, my goal and number one priority will be to provide each child with a good and safe education with regard to structure and teaching of core values and sound policy and policy that is followed and enforced as preparation for life. My job as superintendent is to enhance learning by setting expectations for students, then supporting and assisting teachers. I'll be a servant to the children and the teachers. We must provide students and teachers with safe, secure, well-disciplined schools by enforcing existing policy and immediately putting in place state-of-the-art security systems and security measures. My office will ensure educated and timely decisions with the welfare of children always top priority. I believe that well-treated, content workers also always put out a better product. We will provide personnel with clear, consistent expectations and direction, and they will be treated with respect and dignity, and policy will be followed. We can afford nothing less for our students. I believe good character is the basis for all achievement. A kid that stops and goes home to study is going to be the kid with character. Character is what makes him go home and study for that test. And we must teach character curriculum for every grade level. We will good, be good stewards of your tax dollars. We will exercise a high standard of professional ethics concerning school funds, spending, and our relationships with those people that we do school business with. Stephen George, candidate. District Schools of Bay, Superintendent, the weather, we'll be right back.